Hi, I'm Suzanne Giesman. I'm a medium who is a retired U.S. Navy commander. It's only after the death of my stepdaughter that I came to know that the spirit world is real and that we can communicate with those who have passed and that they're very, very much wanting to communicate with us as well. So today I'd like to share with you one of the most profound experiences I had in connecting across the veil. And I share it because it has been validated by afterlife researcher, Dr. Gary Schwartz, and the recipient of this communication, a man named Jerry Facciani, who has given me permission to share his story in his communication with his family members across the veil in hopes that it will bring hope to all of you who see this video that there really is a greater reality. So I've been tested by Dr. Gary Schwartz and validated in my work. He occasionally reaches out to me when he wants me to do a reading for someone, but true to form as a scientist, Dr. Schwartz often doesn't tell me anything at all about the person I'm going to be doing the reading for. So a few years ago, I got a phone call. It was Dr. Schwartz saying, Suzanne, I need you to do a reading for me, but I can't tell you anything other than the man's first name. And he gave me a phone number. And so I don't remember how we aligned up the reading, but we set the reading for a couple days in the future. Well, the day before I was set to do the reading for Jerry, who I didn't know at all, didn't know where he lived, who he wanted to connect with, anything of the sort, I was awakened about 5.30 in the morning in bed by the presence of someone in the spirit world. It was very clearly a woman and I asked right away, who are you? Because I didn't know her. I didn't recognize her. And I sensed this is Jerry's wife in the spirit world. I've come to know that the people in the spirit world will drop in on me. So I sleep with a pad of paper and pen by my bed. I rolled over and my patient, patient husband knows not to talk when this happens. I started writing down the information this woman was giving me. I got a whole list of things that she had, messages for her husband, evidence about her, including a name she gave me, Mary Margaret. She gave me other names that I knew would make sense to Jerry. I just knew this message was for him. When I got this whole list together, later when I woke up fully, I typed up all of the information that she gave me and I emailed it to Jerry. So clearly I must have had his email address as well. I asked him, please go over the list. Don't tell me what specifically is correct or incorrect. I just need to know, was this your wife? Well, the information I got back from Jerry later in an email said, it was absolutely clear that Mary, Mary Margaret were both of her first two names had been waiting almost 33 of our earth years to communicate with me. So there we go, going into the reading, I know I've already been visited by his wife. I did the reading and not only did his wife come through, but his grandmother and one of his children across the veil. I'll tell you now that the reading was one of the most tragic stories that has ever come through when I connect with the spirit because of the way that Mary passed and two of Jerry's children at the same time. The evidence that came through in the reading was also validated by Jerry. So much so that Dr. Schwartz <laughs> asked Jerry to score every single line item that came through in this unexpected reading before we met with Jerry and during the actual reading. There's nothing like seeing evidence in bar chart form. When Dr. Schwartz puts the scoring together in this form, it's really convincing. So I'd like to share with you the results of the scoring of this, what we call the pre-reading, when Jerry's wife came through from across the veil. So have a look at this. What you're looking at here is a bar chart of the results of Jerry scoring each item that came through in that blind reading when I talked to Mary in my bed. But Dr. Schwartz asked Jerry to score this as if the person had come through were his current wife, who we'll call Kay. We use this as a control to say, does this information apply to just anyone in Jerry's life? And you can see here 
that 35% of the pieces of information I discerned in that early morning visit are clear misses. 36% are meaningful, and, there, and then there are a smattering of other what we could call hits. Now I'd like to show you how the evidence in this unexpected visit with no feedback whatsoever from Jerry applies to Jerry's deceased wife, Mary Margaret. Take a look at this chart. As you can see, the results are dramatically different. There were no misses. None were rated as a stretch. None were rated as a possible hit with 5.9% probably a hit, 8.8% definite hits, and 85% meaningful evidence. Here are the two score results side by side. As you look at this, I'd like to share with you what Dr. Schwartz from the University of Arizona had to say about this. He says that a very conservative percent accuracy score would be calculated using only the number of items scored six, divided by the number of total items scored and then multiplied by 100. If you use that conservative, very conservative formula, the percent accuracy rating for this pre-reading for Jerry's wife across the veil is 85.4%. And Dr. Schwartz said, I have never before analyzed a reading receiving such a high percent accuracy score using the very conservative formula. Then Dr. Schwartz went on to say, a less conservative percent accuracy score would be calculated by summing the number of items rated four, five, and six, divided by the number of total items scored, and then multiplied by 100. If you use this formula, the less conservative accuracy rating for this pre-reading for Mary turns out to be 100%. Dr. Schwartz had never before analyzed a reading receiving a score of 100%. Now what I'd like to tell you about Jerry is when I saw 100%, I said no medium is ever 100% accurate. He must be being too liberal in his scoring. I just didn't think that that was possible. We made Jerry go back and rescore, reevaluate every item three times, and he had to give a justification for why he scored so high or why he scored something possible, probable versus a miss. And I'd like to read for you something that Jerry wrote in. He said, my entire business career was spent working with probabilities and statistics the law of large numbers. Furthermore, having spent much of my professional career dealing with actuarial matters, the probability of my tending toward the subjective is not very great. I am an extremely objective, well-organized, detailed person. In fact, Jerry served as president of the American Society of Pension Actuaries, advisor to the Department of Labor, the Social Security Administration, and a member of the Senate Government Affairs Committee Forum. So what I'd like to just remind you of here is the information that was scored so accurately is for the pre-reading, not even when I had Jerry in front of me. So all of this evidence from Mary about their life together, about their children, about events that happened on the day that he passed, including an apology from Mary that was 33 years in coming, came to me from a visit with no feedback whatsoever from Jerry, from the sitter. All of this discerned face to face, as it were, with someone in spirit. So for those of you who like evidence, who like scientific research, this is what's called a double blind study. And it was spontaneous, unexpected, and validated in the best ways that, that are possible given that this is a field of work in which it's very difficult to replicate scientifically this kind of thing. So all I know is I could feel Mary, and I wanna leave you with Jerry's comment about the result of that reading, which from my viewpoint, as a family member who has loved ones across the veil, and at, from my viewpoint as a medium, whose entire goal is to show people that love never dies, that mediumship is real, and that we will see our loved ones again. This is the whole point. So what Jerry had to say is this. 
I simply cannot put into words the stunning impact Suzanne's words had on me. The sensation was tantamount to having been struck by lightning, not just once, but again and again. I got into this work when my stepdaughter Susan was killed by a bolt of lightning. So Jerry's words were a bit ironic, but very, very meaningful to me. It truly is like a bolt out of the blue to come to know that our loved ones who passed are still right here. I hope that this video today has helped you to understand that and to get what the heart already knows into our heads that this is real. Thank you so much.